everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am sharing with you my five favorite books from when I was a teenager. So the first book is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which is about Elizabeth Bennet and the Bennet family. Elizabeth has four sisters, and essentially, it, at the time, girls could not inherit property from their fathers, and so it's really, really important that all five girls marry well, and their mother is, like, obsessed with marriage, and the thing is, the girls, because they can't inherit anything from their father, you know, they basically desperately need to find men to marry, and Lizzie is not a about that life. She ends up running into Darcy, this guy who is just really, really snobby, and she gets a fantastically awful first impression of him and him of her. And so the book is all about his pride and her prejudices, because, you know, literal title is literal. What I love about Pride and Prejudice is how headstrong Lizzie is. She's an absolutely fantastic and super relatable heroine. She's kind of surrounded by this ridiculousness and she's trying to keep her head. And it features one of my all-time favorite tropes, which is hate to love. That she and Darcy don't like each other at all in the beginning and then slowly over time, feelings change. I absolutely love that. Jane Austen was also a fantastically funny author. All of her books, and especially Pride and Prejudice, examine women's role in society at the time, but a lot of it is still applicable today. She also looks at class and many of the more ridiculous facets of the class system. This has definitely influenced my writing. I like to write funny stories about, you know, different class levels and feminism, so Jane Austen was definitely very formative for me. The next book that I loved as a teen is The Tin Drum by Gunter Grass. This is a weird one that is really, really hard to explain, but it's essentially about a boy who decides when he is a toddler that he is not going to grow any taller. He stunts his own growth and it's basically a very complex metaphor for the history of Germany. It's kind of a surreal, weird novel, and I was the world's oddest 15-year-old. I absolutely loved this book. I can't say it's directly influenced my writing, but it definitely kind of expanded my mind in terms of, like, complex metaphor when it comes to literature. It's just one of the weirdest and most wonderful books I have read and really forced me to engage with history in a completely new way. The next book that I loved as a teenager is Bridget Jones's Diary. Um, this, ironically, of course, is a basically a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, so you're kind of seeing a theme. So similarly, it features the hate to love trope, but instead of kind of examining the ridiculousness of class, Bridget Jones examines the ridiculousness of beauty standards. And, you know, as an older person and over the years, I, I have more problems with Bridget Jones's diary, but as a 17-year-old, having a protagonist in the book who was overweight was really life-changing for me. It was the first time I'd seen a heroine on the page who I could imagine looked like me. Now, I never had and never still don't have a terrible smoking habit. That is a problem Bridget had that I definitely didn't. But I just really related to this character who struggled with food and her weight and still got to have the delightful, wonderful romance. And honestly, Bridget Jones's diary is just really, really funny. And so that was one of my favorite books as a teenager. I obsessively saw the movie. I even did like a, a f photo art project on it my senior year of high school. Bridget Jones's Diary, one of my all-time favorite books. The next book that I loved as a teenager is kind of almost a cheat, and it is Harry Potter. Though the thing is, I didn't actually grow up with Harry Potter. I discovered Harry Potter when I was 17 years old, but it made such a huge impact on me, you know, just right there at the end before I got out of my teenage years. I don't think I need to summarize what Harry Potter is about. I assume most of you have read it, and it was also really formative for you as a child or as a teenager, but I just loved all of the, the magic, the complex world of Harry Potter, the way that it engaged with ethics and morals. And these are, of course, all buried things. They're just exciting stories. I tore through the first four books while I was an exchange student to Germany, partly because I had run out of books to read in English. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, this is oh, for kids. Harry Potter is for kids. And then Boy, was I wrong. Uh, I got into Harry Potter fandom. Harry Potter was hugely life-changing for me, and so those last years of being a teenager, overwhelmingly one of my favorite book 
series, though my favorite Harry Potter book is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And last but certainly not least is Jane Eyre. I loved this book as a teenager. I read it for the first time. I must have been like 12 or 13 years old and I have reread it almost every year since then. For me as a teen, what was so attractive about Jane Eyre is it essentially was a stealth YA novel, and YA didn't really exist as a category when I was a teenager. You know, it's a first person narration from this 18 year old girl who has all of these deep complex feelings and she she feels such things but she feels very othered by society. She feels like an outsider and she's kind of navigating first love and like going out in the world and finding her place. So I adore Jane Eyre and for those of you who haven't read it, it's basically about a an orphan girl who becomes a governess at this creepy manor house. And she starts developing feelings for Mr. Rochester, the mysterious owner of the house. And there's stuff going on and there's may or may not be a mystery happening. So those were my five favorite books when I was a teenager. What are your favorite books if you are a teenager or what were your five favorite foundational books when you were a teenager? I'd love to hear about that down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching everyone and as always, happy reading.